Hello and welcome to this segment of the program Question Mark with Hilary Damisa. There are two types of questions in life. Questions that have been answered are questions that are yet to be answered. And today, we would attempt to answer those questions bordering your mind on e-banking, if you like internet banking, and the likes. And our guest on the program is Oluwa Shegun Adeni, a digital banker. We are glad to have you on this segment. Thank you very much. The advent of e-banking has brought about scandalous financial loss, financial scam, and internet fraud. Can you let us into what the banks are doing to mitigate and curb these challenges? It's a daily problem, um, especially in financial services industry. Um, what we have done, um, which I think many banks have done, um, the big difference, what we have done, which many banks have done, is we have fraud management solutions, we have a lot of um, internet security solutions which manage access to ensure that they are authorized before they can access our customer accounts. But what is more important about our solution, and this is where the customization from you know, the generic um, options available are, is we have made, we, we have included software which relies on technology to understand our customers and their trends, mm -hmm. such that if we notice abnormal um, activities on your account, we are able to flag that as a potential fraud activity and then get you to confirm going forward. Different banking applications and softwares drive the financial sector of Nigeria. Do you think the banks are doing enough to drive and support local softwares to deliver services within the banking space in Nigeria? I don't, I don't think it's possible to have any other position but to want to support our people. Okay. And, and I speak that not just because they are our locals, it is primarily because, because they are our locals, they understand the peculiarities of our problems even more. They understand what challenges we're faced with. You know, Nigeria and Africa is peculiar in its own. You know, our people have a different way of thinking, unique way of thinking, I would like to put it. Um, our government is unique in its own as well, I would say. Um, solutions that have worked in the Western world may not fit in here because there needs to be some customization to be done. The best people to do that are the people, you know, our locals. And I think that's definitely a case for local content. With globalization comes the ever-changing face of technology which also affects lifestyles and banking in general. With all of this, what do you think the future holds for the banking industry, especially in the face of the fintech revolution? I think globalization helps to spread knowledge and technology across borders. Um, the future of banking it li lies beyond just financial services, but extends, you know, into how we understand the day-to-day -day lifestyle of our customers. I spoke earlier about the transition from a share of mind to a uh, sorry from a share of wallet to a share of mind. I think for the future there are four things that I see to be very important in banking. It's the fact that banking will become invisible. Um, banking will become connected, banking will become insight driven and it will become purposeful. Invisible from the perspective of financial services will become a way of life. So people don't wake up in the morning and say I need to get a loan, it's I need to buy a car. You know, and then at the point of buying that car, there is a bank behind that ecosystem who is able to finance that procurement of the car. It will become connected from the same perspective. The bank is aware that I am at the car shop and I need to procure a vehicle. It will become inside driven from a perspective of the bank understands my data points. It understands what I do. And based on that, they have 
earmarked me for a car loan where in actual fact because you are shopping for a home constantly on the internet you are being targeted for a mortgage so that's where the inside drive comes in and purposeful from a perspective of all of these things become meaningless if they are not adding value to you as a consumer i think those four pillars you know i think will drive the future of banking especially with the growth of globalization. It will ride on technology. You hear people talk about artificial intelligence and data analytics. You know, for me, those four pillars um, will ride on the technologies, but those will be the four pillars that take the future of banking forward. Thank you so much, Olushegun Adeniyi, for those insights, and we hope to have you again on the program if time permits. Thank you. Thank you. And it's back to you. Toby Loba Gideon. This is DG Vision Network.